Welcome to Divorces in North Carolina, Sandra Dinkins. So you just got divorce papers, now what? Are you pondering over the prospect of alimony? If so, this video is tailored for you. Will I get alimony? This is a question asked frequently by those undergoing divorce. The answers aren't always simple as it relies on various factors. Today we'll delve into the intricacies of alimony in North Carolina, from understanding the roles of dependent and supporting spouses to the 16 factors that courts consider when determining alimony. To begin with, let's clarify the terminology. A dependent spouse is the one who depends on the other for sustenance and support, while a supporting spouse is the one providing this support. Alimony may be granted to the dependent spouse unless he or she engaged in illicit sexual behavior during the marriage or before and on the date of separation. On the other hand, a supporting spouse who engaged in marital misconduct may be ordered to pay alimony to the dependent spouse. Let's now discuss the 16 factors that North Carolina courts consider when determining alimony. First and foremost is entitlement. Is there a genuine need for spousal support? And does the other spouse have the means to pay? Following this, the amount and duration of alimony are decided which are influenced by marital misconduct, earnings, and earning capacities of both spouses. Large disparities or surpluses in earned and unearned incomes can tip the scales. More often than not, supporting spouses who earn much more than dependent spouses are likely to pay alimony or spousal support. The age, physical, mental, and emotional capacities of the spouses are also taken into account. So is the length of the marriage. If the dependent spouse is seriously ill, the supporting spouse may be asked to pay premiums on medical insurance. The longer the marriage, the more likely it is that alimony will be awarded for a prolonged period. If you are finding this video insightful, please give it a thumbs up. The court also examines the contributions each spouse made to the education and earning power of the other. Did one spouse finance the other's college education or sacrifice their career to contribute to the household? If so, then that spouse should be compensated for that sacrifice. The importance of maintaining the marital standard of living is another factor. Can the dependent spouse sustain the lifestyle that he or she has been accustomed to during the marriage? If he or she cannot maintain the current standard of living, then the court may be more inclined to award him or her alimony. If you are finding this video helpful, please subscribe. The court also takes into consideration the assets, liabilities, and expenses of both spouses. This includes the ability to pay based on financial affidavits and legal responsibilities of child support. It's crucial to remember that the need for alimony or spousal support is a key determinant. The dependent spouse needs to prove that he or she cannot afford to maintain the standard of living that he or she has been accustomed to during the marriage. If there's no proof of need, alimony or spousal support will not be awarded. The tax implications of paying alimony are also considered, as is equitable distribution. Has the dependent spouse been awarded half of the retirement pay in the house? If so, should he or she still receive alimony? There have been questions about whether the gender of the spouse influences the awarding of alimony or spousal support, but there's no mention of gender in North Carolina laws. Comment below if you believe that more men should receive alimony. In conclusion, alimony in North Carolina is determined through a complex interplay of 16 factors, ranging from marital misconduct to financial capabilities, the length of the marriage, and tax implications. The court's aim is always to ensure fairness. While the process may seem complicated, understanding these factors can help you to gather your financial documents, bank statements, tax returns, deeds, and 401 statements so you can prepare your case. If you found this video useful, please subscribe and share.